Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sibelius and LandonAirPhotos.com. In this episode, I'm going to begin a series of videos to walk you through the basics of editing your drone video, or any video, with CyberLink PowerDirector 16. I've received a lot of questions from subscribers about how to edit their videos. The good news is, with a little bit of guidance and the right video editor program, you can edit and produce a great looking video for uploading to YouTube or Facebook. I've looked at several low price editors and found that PowerDirector 16 by Cyberlink is a great program that does almost everything a more expensive program does at a much lower price. In this episode, I'll start a series of tutorials to take you through the process of basic video editing, then producing a finished video in PowerDirector 16. Most of my subscribers are drone pilots, so I'll talk about editing drone videos, but PowerDirector can be used for editing videos from drones, video cameras, even cell phones. So even if you don't fly a drone, these episodes will help you out. If you want more videos after the first five introductory episodes, let me know by posting what you want me to cover in the comments below. I'll make more video editing tutorials, but only if you viewers are interested. So let's get started. In this first episode, I'll walk you around the PowerDirector screen so you know how to find things. Once you've downloaded and installed the program, open it. The top of the introductory screen gives you three choices for the aspect ratio of the video you want to create. Aspect ratio is the ratio of width to height. The video files you shot with your drone will almost certainly be 16 by 9. Still videos and GoPro video might be 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. The final choice on aspect ratio is for cell phone video in portrait mode. You need to decide which format you want your final video to be. I'm going to choose 16 by 9. That's what you normally find with YouTube videos and most modern computer screens. Beneath aspect ratio you'll see three different interfaces to use the program. Timeline, storyboard mode, or slideshow creator. Let's work with timeline mode. This is the timeline view. Across the top is a row of standard menu choices, File, Edit, View, etc. Beneath that is a row of four tabs. Capture is for creating content with PowerDirector, like recording voice over audio or doing screen capture of your computer screen. I'm using Screen Recorder right now to record this video. The Edit tab is where you will do all your cutting and modifying of the video files to create your video. Produce is where you output your finished product into a video that you can upload. We can't access this tab now because we haven't created anything to produce. Finally, Create Disk allows you to generate a version of your video to be put on a DVD or Blu-ray. We're going to use the Edit tab, so I'll click on that. While we're at the top of this screen, let's save the project. Click File menu and choose Save Project As. Give it a name and save it. I'll call this Masterpiece because that's what you're going to be creating, right? As you work on your video, be sure to save it frequently. To do this quickly, just hold your control key and hit the letter S to save your work. Let's move to the first part of the Edit tab in the upper left portion of your screen. This is the Media Library. By default, PowerDirector displays the Media Room, which displays all the videos, photos, and audio files that have been added to this project. You can see several files are already here. These are just sample files CyberLink automatically throws in. We'll get rid of those in the next episode. Along the left is a column of buttons. Each button shows a different group of editing options. These groups are called Rooms. For example, the T icon is for Titling Room. Here is where you can add titling and text to your video. Next down is a Lightning Bolt icon. Click this icon for the Transitions Room. These are effects that occur between clips 
and might include a fade, a swipe, or many other transitions. Beneath that is an icon that looks like a slider on a sound mixing board. That's your audio mixing room. I know, I skipped several icons in this column. For my introductory videos, we'll stick with the media room, transitions room, titling room, and audio mixing room. Let's click on the top icon to return to the media room. Click on one of the media files in the media room. Now you can see a larger version of this media file in the next portion of the edit tab, which is called the preview screen. The preview window allows you to view and hear the contents of any media clip in your media room. You can preview a video file by hitting the play button like this. See these arrows here? These allow you to move forward and back one frame at a time so you can navigate to the exact point you want to reach right down to the specific frame. Let's move on to the last part of the edit tab which spans the entire bottom of your screen. This is your timeline. What you see in the timeline is a series of rows or tracks. As you move from the left to the right on each track, you're moving forward in time, as you can tell by the ascending numbers above the tracks. This is called your timeline ruler. As you move from the top track down to the bottom, you're stacking different media files, effects, or text to be run simultaneously. For example, you've seen video with text appearing over top of it. That was done by stacking the video and the text on two rows so that both played at the same time. The timeline is where you do all your editing. So that's the edit tab where you will do all your work to create a video. I'm going to hit Control S to save my project so it's ready for the next episode. This concludes Episode 1 of Editing with PowerDirector 16. In the next video, I'll show you how to bring your media clips into PowerDirector, add them to the timeline, arrange them, and cut and splice the video clips. Thanks for watching. Remember, sharing is caring. If you would share this video on social media, I would really appreciate your help. On screen, you'll find a link to the complete playlist of PowerDirector 16 video editing tutorials, so please check them out. If you want more tutorials, let me know in the comments below. Before you go, be sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel so you know when more videos are released. Next video coming soon.